BuckeyeHuddle.com, Southern Swing continues. Houston, Texas. We are in a, this is an off-campus visit. We, there's been power outages. There's been all, all sorts of craziness going on here in Houston. So we were supposed to be at Devin Sanchez's practice today. Uh, he does not have practice today. He doesn't have school today. He doesn't have school tomorrow or practice tomorrow. Yeah. So, Devin, we appreciate you meeting with us. We appreciate you being flexible for us. Uh, we weren't able to obviously get to your school and watch practice, which was unfortunate. But uh, how are you doing today? Uh, good. I'm doing very good. Very good. Nice, nice little day or two off school, right? It's yeah. ne never a bad thing. Never a bad thing. You know, I, I won't complain. <laughs> you don't get snow days down here, probably. So yeah. this is kind of like it's like a snow day if you're you know for a southern kid. <laughs> um, How's your spring going? I know you guys have been working hard out there. You're, I think you're just about the end of practice uh, practice season. But um, just, you know, how's your spring and what were you working on? Uh, I actually had a short spring, actually. You know, we had ran track, so we had a we all we went all the way to state. So I actually didn't get to practice for two weeks. So, I mean, it, it felt kind of fun just, just getting back out there, you know, just competing with the guys that, you know, I play against every day. So, I mean, it, it doesn't get no better than that. And, you know, we just, you know, just getting making each other better and just getting ready for the season. This is our last year. Yeah. Talk about your track experience this year. Um, what, what, what were you running? And uh, um, was it like four by one. Yeah, I ran the four by one, four by two, the four by four. So I ran all the relays. I mean, it was the last time I we ever run track together as, you know, as a group. So I mean, all time we have the all time we had the what the fourth or the fifth fastest four by one time and. All time in the nation, so I mean, wow. that's a that's a goal that you know, we 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 wanted, and you know, we broke our school record three times, our own school record three times. So, no, actually four. Yeah, we actually broke it four times. So I mean, that's a goal right there. And then you know, we broke our school record in a four by one and a four by two. So, wow. I mean, that's something that won't be touched for a long time because it's not going to be an, another group of well another four group of guys that come through our school just running that fast yeah and how does that translate for you i'm sure it helps you with football like what are some things maybe track you know kind of helps translate to the football field especially someone like you as a corner you, you gotta got be able to stop and start and ex yeah. you know, kind of explode yeah i mean it, it it helps a lot you know but i really so much say what helps me on the track more is the weight room so i mean that's what really you know made me look uh faster just getting stronger you know Really, just taking the time just to work on my body, but you know, like you said, the the catch up speed. I play corner, so I mean, track having that track back on uh, is you know good for my catch up speed. Even if I do get beat and I do got a you got receiver do got a step on me, I can still manage to catch up and th things like that just because I have that track speed. Yeah. How has life been uh, since committing uh, to Ohio State? Has it been quieter? I'm sure schools are still trying to talk to you, yeah. but like, has, it, has life kind of settled down a little bit, or what's, yeah. what's it been like? It, it settled down, and then you know, since I committed in January, it settled down. But you know, it was still those schools that are still trying to talk to me. But what really shut it down was that spring game I went to when I actually shut my recruitment down officially that's what really you know ever since then it's just been it's just been quiet you know I get a text every here and there but I mean it's it's just quiet I mean it's, it's nothing I'm, I'm just living life now and then you know I'm just ready to get there in January so these other coaches have taken a hint I guess yeah. uh, at this point um yeah, talk about getting up back up to campus it was a, it was a great weekend there a uh, bunch of people on campus bunch of recruits um you know, you've been up there so many times, but you know, how was that getting around some of the guys, getting to see the teams, all that stuff? I mean, it was it was it was a fun experience. You know, that was my first ever spring game going, you know, up in Ohio. So I mean, it was it was a fun experience. You know, eighty thousand people for a spring game was was crazy, but I mean, you know, just seeing the guys that that I'm gonna be be with in you know January, you know, Tavian and uh, it was some more uh, Naheem offered, you know, guys like that, you know, just just guys I'm gonna be with, guys I'm gonna play with. So I mean. It was a fun experience, you know, j just watching the team go. And then, you know, in pregame, I wouldn't, I was on the field with him. I was next to Coach Walt. So I'm just, you know, soaking it all in because this time, next year and next spring, I'm going to be there. So, I mean, why not just soak it all in? Think you're ready for Jeremiah? I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> it's, he is a tough receiver. And then I, I, I've seen it at practice, I've seen it myself. I mean, good receivers like him going to catch the ball. Him and Mecca, they, they going to catch the ball. I mean, it, look, look, look at the school they go to. I mean, look at the receiver, the DB they're going against. I mean, but it's about if don't let them win more reps than you win reps. So I mean, if if I win more reps than he does, I mean, it's a win for me. So I mean, 
I mean, it's just gonna make each we just gonna make each other better, and I feel like making each other better. I mean, that's gonna be a top receiver. You know, he's gonna be a top top five pick when he goes up uh, for the draft. So I mean, a receiver like him ain't gonna do nothing but make me better. So I mean, going against him is just it's just gonna be fun every day. Yeah, uh, you're seeing some young guys. I think like Jermaine Matthews is starting to kind of carve out his role. I think Aaron Scott had a pretty good spring as a as a true freshman there. They're going to be losing some corners. I mean, you know, Denzel Burke's a senior. Jordan Hancock's a senior. Uh, you know, Dave Zygmunt draft eligible. We'll see what he decides, what kind of season he has. Do you see kind of an opportunity there with, like, a guy like Jermaine or Aaron to kind of get out there and, and maybe do something similar to what Jeremiah Smith's doing this spring on, on the offensive side of the ball? Yeah, I see, a, I see a big opportunity for me to get out there on the field early. You know, coming into the spring, you know, like you said, guys like Nizel are going to be gone. So that's one spot that's going to be open. And then, you know, hopefully IGB has a great season and he hopefully takes off too because that will leave two spots open. And I feel like the way I come in and compete, even if uh, IGB doesn't leave, the way I come in and compete, you know, and just keep my head down, I'm, I'm, I'm going to win the spot regardless because, you know, that's just the mindset I have. I don't like when people play in front of me. So, I mean, m that whole spring I'm coming in and working and I feel like, you know, no no shade to the guys that are there. I'm going to be. I'm I'm going to lose my black stripe. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going a whole spring without losing my black stripe. You know, 14, 15 practices. I'm I'm gonna lose it somewhere in there. So I mean, I'm I'm coming in head down. I'm coming in ready to work. Like I tell Coach Walt that all the time. Every time we talk, every day we talk. Him and Coach Duhart. Every time they text me, I'm coming in ready to work and I'm coming in for that spot. And, you know, going against dudes like Jeremiah is going to help me win that spot. So that's just what it is. Jeremiah lost it awfully early. He set the record this year, so there, there's something to – there's a goal for you, yeah. I guess, is to kind of try and break his record. Um, how are things with the staff? I'm sure, every, you know, Coach Walton's been such a big part of your recruiting process. Like, how often are you talking to him? And kind of – I'm sure those conversations are probably a little different now that you've, you know, you've been committed so long. Yeah. They're probably more oriented around, like, your next steps when you get there and things like that. But, like, how are those conversations? And, and you know, are you talking to him, like, every day, once a week? Like, how's, how's nah, it going? Nah, me and Coach Walt, we talk. If I had to say, like, a week, me and Coach Walt talking at least every day. I mean, only days we don't talk is when, you know, I really, actually, I really, you know, he was on the road. When, since he left my school, he's been on the road. He's called me. Every every day, I mean, every time he's in the airport, he called me like, "Hey, look what I'm doing in the airport." I mean, <laughs> so I mean, like you said, the conversations are different now that I've been committed for so long. You know, I've been up there six times. You know, and it's just it's just a different type of relationship that I have with Coach Walsh. You know, I know his whole family now, um, all his kids, his wife. So I mean, I got a close relationship uh, with his daughter. So I mean, and his wife. So I mean, they're they're like another family to me. So I mean, the relate the the talks that we have is is, is different. It's yeah. not it's not just a Oh, such and such, such and such. When you coming back up here? When you coming back? Nah, it's it's just about it's just about ball, and then you know also about life. You know, just just things like that. Speaking of families, your family, very very spirited, enthusiastic parents about recruiting, about Ohio State, about everything. I guess how how does that work for you? Like it, that's got to be kind of interesting for you, just seeing how involved your parents are on. Not necessarily just like with your recruiting process, but like they want to like they want to get all these other people. Like yeah. they, they seem to be t kind of taking a lead as far as like recruiting other parents. Yeah, you know, I I guess what can you say about them and what their involvement has been? Uh, they, they've been they're I, they're on this stuff, man. They're on our they're on our YouTube channel. They're watching like the interviews we do with the other kids. It, it's 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 great. Yeah, I mean it, it it's just crazy like how my parents really just became like really into Twitter. You know, before before I got into football, it was just you no, know, not not say football. Before I, you know, I got into all this recruitment and you know Ohio State all that. They were just on Twitter, just like me, just on Twitter. But I mean, ever since I've been, you know, 100% Ohio State, it's just been them just trying to find kids that just want to come there, you know, compete against the best. It's not scared of competition, you know, not coming in worried about oh I'm gonna play as a freshman. I mean, if you want to play as a freshman, you are gonna play as a freshman. So I mean, it's. You gotta, you gotta want that. So I mean, it's just c coming in, you know, them just looking for other kids that just like me, you know, just, just love football and just want to compete, you know, because at the end of the day, you gotta compete for a spot. No, nobody's spot is secure, so anybody can lose a spot. So I mean, that's just what they want to do. Just find other people that, to, that I can be around that they know not, 
oh, they, they just want to come there just because they said they're going to start. Nah, I mean, it's other kids that just love the game of football and just want it, want to exceed at it. And, you know, I got dreams and goals too, so they want to find other kids just like me. So you're going to be up for your official June 21st. That's going to be a huge weekend for Ohio State. So how much of that, you know, it's – Let's call it you know two days basically two and a half days. How much of that time are you going to be focused on? Kind of like you, you know you want to have your official visit yeah. too, but you know there's also a lot of big name uncommitted guys out there that you know I'm sure you're going to want to be helping the the cause with and trying to kind of lock them up. How do you divide that time and just, are you are you concerned about that at all? Uh, no, I mean I mean I'm gonna just just go with just go with the flow because I mean. At the end of the day, this is my first time ever taking the official, so I'm going to soak that, soak all that in because I've never done anything like that. So, I mean, that's just going to be a fun experience for me. But also, I mean, I am going to try to get some guys, you know, and then, you know, I won't be by myself doing all that because, you know, Taven, is, he's a big part of that too. You know, he recruits just like me. So, I mean, me and him, we're going to we'll try to get on some guys, you know, hopefully, you know, I think David Sanders is going to be up there too. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's, right. that's Taven's job because he's going to be the one blocking <laughs> for him. But, I mean – I'm, I'm gonna try to get him in too because just 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 because you know why not just we we, we want to dominate for these next you know three four years so let, let, let's not let's do it let's just start early on it and then you know whoever whoever is uncommitted up there all I gotta say is just be ready you're gonna hear it from me. <laughs> they uh, we were just in Alabama it feels like a lifetime ago but I think it was only a few days ago uh, you know Malik Autry. Zion Grady, two big-time defensive linemen, have uh, made their unofficial visits a couple weeks ago and I guess liked it so much they're coming back up. They're going to be up uh, your weekend. What do you tell a kid, What do you tell kids like that who are from, like, the Deep South? It's not necessarily, like, all Ohio State all the time where they're from. And, you know, you made a decision that you made with, you know, from an area of the country that's, you know, not all Ohio State all the time either. I guess how do you discuss your situation and your decision to go to Ohio State with them and maybe – in, in a way that would make them comfortable enough to do the same thing? Uh, what I say to people when, you know, down, uh, us down south kids, you know, Alabama, you know, Louisiana, Texas kids, you know, we're far away. I mean, if you want to drive up to Ohio from here, it's 18 hours. So what I say is, you know, man, let's just, just go do something new. You know, I've been down south my whole life. So, I mean, I've never been to Ohio the first time I went. It was, it was, it was amazing. You know, I, I didn't think it was like that. So, I mean, I, that's when I knew that, it was for me, but I mean, if I'm telling somebody that's from down here, like just like me, I mean, let's let's go try something new. You know, why well, stay down south? You know, you've been in the heat your whole life. You know, 18 years of your life, 17 years of your life. So I mean, hey man, let's let's go try something new. You know, actually, actually like the cold a little bit. So I mean, it it won't affect me, especially if I'm planning it. So I mean, let's just let's just try something new, man. You know, and then look at it. It's Ohio State. Come on, like. We always gonna be in the, in the talk for you know national player. I mean national uh, championship. So I mean like like let's just let's just do something. And then, you know we want we want to like I said earlier, we want to dominate. We want to win for these next three four years. So I mean those guys like that, D line players. Look at the D line now. You know Jack Sawyer. You know J T. I mean those guys, first round second round picks. So I mean just look at what they're doing. I mean you could they gonna leave. So you can just take their spot and you know just keep doing what they've been doing. So. That's what I say to a guy like that, just down south, just like me. Do you feel like there's something going on like that with Ohio State right now? Because they get Caleb Downs out of the portal. They get Quinchon Judkins out of the portal, who's originally from Alabama. Um, what do you think it is right now that's attracting all these different guys from all over the country to Ohio State as someone who probably didn't grow up necessarily dreaming of you know when you're five or six years old maybe you didn't think you you know Ohio State was the dream school for you what what why are they so attractive to so many different kids around the country I think it's just one to the the development that they're that the coaches there are doing you know you know coach Ward and coach Guerrero I feel like they're doing coach Day I feel like they're doing an amazing job up there and I mean they're coaching hard and they're, they want to win they're, they're tired of losing to the team up north you know so I mean that's that's really the main goal is just beat the team up north beat Oregon you know and win these playoff games. So I mean, that's that's just the main goal, you know. And then us down, us down south kids, you know, we play probably some of the hardest football. So I mean, why not bring that up there? You know, I mean, we we coming to win. You know, I don't know about everybody else, but me, I don't like losing. So I mean, I'm bringing that up there. So it's just 
us down south kids, we just play different football. So, I mean, it's just why not bring that to Ohio and then, you know, let that spread off on the, on the other teams and other players or teammates. So, And then we all just play as one, and then you all we all play with that mentality that we can't be messed with. So, I mean, if we do that, it's going to be hard. So you've got, obviously, a lot of guys on defense already in this class, but there's still some spots to fill. Are there, is there anyone specifically you're working on right now? Even if it's or offense or defense, it doesn't have to be just defense, but is there anyone specifically you're trying to connect with right now and you know, trying to help push that one over the top for the Buckeyes? Yeah, actually, it's, it's three dudes you know, that I'm actually pretty close with. You know, one, the Corey Moore. You know, he just decommitted from LSU. So, I mean, I'm on him hard, you know, and I got a relationship with the Corey, and we're close. He goes to a rival school that we play against, I mean, every year, you know. We'll probably see them again this year. So, I mean, and then, you know, we're top two players in Texas. So, why not have that relationship with him? I got a close relationship with him. Him, um, Dorian, you know, I was just actually working out with Dorian. So, I mean. We just saw Dorian earlier yeah, today. So, <laughs> he, he's another one, you know, that I'm that I'm working on, you know, to get in, get in that cornerback room. You know, we just lost, uh, just lost Blake. So, I mean, we got a spot open, and, you know, he will be a good person to fill that spot. And then uh, Jamie French, you know, even though he took us out the top three, I'm still I'm still not done with him. I think he – we we talked to Jamie on this trip, and he didn't seem to make it sound like maybe Ohio State's so much out of it. So, he may, maybe a shot. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think it's out of it, you know. And then, you know, I think I'm a, I think he's going to be up there for the on-three thing. You know, I think it's – not next yeah, week, but the, the week NMA. after. Yeah, the NMA. Well. So I think he's going to be up there. So, you know, I'm going to be you're, on him. You're going to get another opportunity. You're not just the official. You're going you're gonna to yeah. be able to get all these things yeah, and I got, do some you know, recruiting. I got the Corian <laughs> on that, that trip. You know, Dorian's <laughs> going to be on that trip. So I think David Sanders is going to be on that trip. And the, the guys you said from Alabama, I think, are going to be on that trip. So, I mean, I actually got a couple times, you know, to put it in these guys' ears that, you know, yeah. like, come on, man. Like, we're trying to have the best class. You know, we still got the number one class. But, I mean, it's not about the number one class. It's about – the future and you know that's and winning is the the big thing let's wrap this up talk about you a little bit now we'll get back to talk about you so you've got your you know you got your five-star ranking you've got all these rankings got your offers you've got your commitment where does the motivation now come from to make sure you don't just rest on that and continue to improve and, and kind of what is the mindset that helps kind of drive you now to to make sure that you keep uh, the upward trajectory. One is myself, you know, just just the type of competitor I am. I don't, you know, when you're at the number one spot, you can't go down no more because there's no other numbers above one. So I mean, you can't go down. So that I keep that in my head every day. You know, you can't. I can't go down. I gotta stay with where I'm at. So I mean that, and then also, you know, the guys I go against in practice. So I mean, when you have a good, we have a dude that's a five star at your school. You know. One of the top corners, top players in the nation, everybody's gunning out for you. So, I mean, even though we all teammates at the end of the day, they all want what I got. So, I mean, mm-hmm. that's just that's what's pushing me too because I don't like losing. So, I mean, I play corner. I know I get caught on. I mean, it's, it's, it's you play corner. You, yeah. you, the best corners get caught on. So, if you're not getting caught on, that means you're not playing. So, if you're getting caught on, that mean you're, you're playing. But, I mean, like I said, it's about the refs that you win – you know, as a corner and not letting the receiver catch the ball. But, you know, it's just that that really pushes me, too, just the guys I go against in practice, you know, every day, you know. And we even compete in the weight room, too, you know, with the lifts and, you know, who can do more weight than some do. So, I mean, it's just those guys, you know, really push me, too. You know, I don't tell them that, but that's just what it is, you know, because at the end of the day, we all trying to go D1, and, you know, that's just what it is. Yeah. Where are you working to improve right now? What what are some things, some areas of focus right now? Are there some things you're working on individually to kind of make sure you have this great senior season you want to have before you head off to Ohio State? Uh, really, this year is just, you know, I, I got one goal in mind this year. You know, I want double-digit picks. You know, I, I could have had the chance last year, but, you know, I dropped a few. But, you know, that's just really one goal that I got this year. You know, just finish out my senior season strong, you know. I mean, it's my senior year, you know, even though it's, it's business, but, and, you know, I'm going to have fun. You know, it's last time I get to play high school football, especially with these group of guys. You know, it's been fun these, off, these four years. So, I mean, it's really just, you know, one, we, do, we still do want to win. You know, we want to win that state championship. We're not trying to let them three-peat us. But, you know, that's just one thing. And then outside of that, you know, the school is just one, you know, training with my trainer, you know, uh, just 
working on little things that you know they work on at Ohio State that they do because you can't play press all the time in college because offensive coordinators get paid to make plays that are beat press. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's really just working on you know the off things that they do and you know the breaks and how to read stuff that receivers and quarterbacks do. So it's just that's just what I'm working on now. You know, especially you know I started my offseason early, so you know I've been working on that for the past you know two months now. So. I mean, I feel like now it's just it's just it's a habit that I have now. So I feel like if I just perfect it, when I get up to Ohio State, it's going to be easy. All right, last question: Is Ohio State going to finish with the number one ranked recruiting class in 2025? Most definitely. I mean, shoot, we got a couple more guys on the list, so we get those guys. It's it's no kissing us, you know. LSU got the number one, number two, but and I think Notre Dame has it number three. I mean, I don't think they're going to get these top guys that 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 we got a chance to get. So I mean. It's, it's, it's a clear shot for Ohio State to finish number one. All right, you heard it here first. Appreciate you doing this, man. Again, sorry about the the scheduling stuff. Of yeah, the conflict, I mean, it's but, cool. So we appreciate you making time for us. Yeah. All right? Yep. Yep, good luck here Thank on you. your uh, recruiting endeavors, and good luck and have fun yep. on your official visit, okay? Thank you. All right.